Greetings. Hello to everyone out there on YouTube land. Hello to the mystics and the dreamers out there. My name is Belle. Uh, today I'm going to create a video uh, based around a couple of different thoughts I'm having. Um, the main idea the main idea is that I'm thinking about the life path, different elements of the life path, how to be at ease with your goals, and then how to really tune in with um, what's important to you in life and what you want your life's work to be. And in the best sense of life's work, like um, what you want, not in like a sense of a obvious achievement out, outwardly, but an inner sense of, okay, I think I set out to accomplish a few interests, a few goals, and I feel good about the energy that I put into this goal, uh, no matter what that is. For some people, it could be running. For other people, it could be um, outdoors uh, things, or it could be creating a creativity book. It could be a lot of different things. So, um, just to get started, I'm thinking about the difference between um, trying to organize stuff and trying to create a certain product, which I'm not really in tune with. I don't really care about um, organizing and creating products. Um, so today I'm thinking, like, what is really important to me? So what's more important to me than organization is uh, dancing, some type of uh, fun movement. It could be dancing, it could be walking in nature. Dancing is especially good because you're expressing something soulful. Um, so dancing, music, music is really cool because it's free. Everyone has access to music. Everyone um, is capable of using a drum beat or creating lyrics, um, creating poetry in the way that they want to through the sounds of the music. Um, so I'm coming to terms with the fact that the old mainstream ideas of what is cool to spend your time doing don't line up with what my own personal ideas are. So that has taken a while to come to terms with. But now that I have come to terms with that, I'm thinking of what I actually want to spend my time and energy doing. So I'm interested in things that are easily accessible to everyone, such as movement, meditation, which could be dancing, such as music in any form, especially um, things that are really fun. And then I also enjoy arts and crafts, so that could be any type of visual art, any type of creating a piece of artwork or a crafty um, endeavor, such as knitting, such as weaving, just a few examples. So, but, okay, so all these things are very easily accessible, but then um, there's times when I enjoy life, right? Then I have this nagging feeling that there is something left undone. So what is that for me? And I don't know if, the, if you're interested, you could ask yourself the same question. And this comes back to the idea of having a creative sense of your life's work. Um, I already mentioned that I don't want to organize anything. I don't want to do anything that's productive in a mainstream way. I don't really care about that, even though um, in terms of following social norms, it would be much easier, in a sense, to do that. But I don't really care about that. Um, so, after all this shakes down and I tune in with what I'm thinking about, I tune in with what I'm really passionate about, um, this is what it comes down to, to relieve the uh, idea that there's something left undone in my life. Um, Okay, all I want to do in terms of productivity or in terms of an offering or something like that, all I want to do is talk with people about their mystical experiences and talk to people about their sense of awe and mystery in life. 
that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. And so this is kind of a kickoff video after that long introduction. This is a kickoff video to explain some of my ideas behind what I'm passionate about and what I would like to share with anyone who's interested and anyone who's in a good place in their life where it's a good opportunity to talk about these things. Um, there are two or three things that are the guiding lights to me in terms of what my goal is in sharing things with people. And the first thing is empowerment. I want to empower myself and then I want to give the gift of uh, empowerment in any way I can, and just in terms of um, inspiration or being positive. If someone says they are interested in something and they want to do something really cool, I would be for that. <laughs> I would be a positive um, person. And so it's actually interesting, as soon as you start noticing the difference between empowering ideas and disempowering ideas, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I thought about this a few years ago and it kind of opened my eyes to different ways that we disempower each other, which is like the negative side. But um, so the first idea is empowerment. Uh, I think life is better when we're all empowered to be our best uh, sense of who we are. And then the second thing is spark the imagination. I don't feel like you need me to tell you um, the top five things that I think are good about life. I think you have your own top five things that are excellent about life and about what makes life meaningful to you. So I want to be able to share um, ideas and I want to hear what's going on with you. But on the other hand, it's not about me, it's about you sparking your own imagination, maybe taking a little bit of inspiration from something written down, and then coming up with your own ideas. And then the third thing that I've added is living life with a compassionate heart. Um, I think living with compassionately helps everyone, I don't know about everyone, but it helps me live closer to my authentic self. Um, which is a whole nother video, The Authentic Self. <laughs> okay, um, so, so far in this video, we've covered the fact that I don't really want to create a product. I just want to dance and make music um, and do arts and crafts. But on the other hand, I feel like there's a nagging feeling of something left undone. And what that is, from, in terms of my life path, is talking to people about mysticism and what the mystical experience means to them. Um, I'm probably going to put together uh, an inexpensive or free PDF booklet that talks about what, how I see mystic philosophy and how I see the path of soul, which are kind of a couple of terms I like to use. Um, I'm going to create a free online discussion that happens once a week and if no one is interested in participating that week, it's going to turn into a podcast on a certain topic, any type of mystic philosophy topic that I might pick out, such as uh, universal beings or energy healing or um, David Baum and his ideas, um, so anything like that. And then that's the free online offering, and it can turn into this really cool mystic philosophy discussion if people are interested. I can have more information about when that will actually be. I haven't decided on what day of the week that will be. And then what I'll be offering is space for me to listen to what's going on with you in terms of mysticism and your spiritual path. So I will call this uh, Mystic Philosophy Talks and Path of Soul Talks. And it's just like a dialogue, more me listening to what's going on with you. And that would be what I will offer in terms of uh, small business and also what's uh, exciting to me about um, my life's work and what I want to offer. <laughs> um, so all of this, the bottom line to all of this in a personal sense is stepping over my own fears and worries and starting something that's close to my heart. And for some reason, it's more difficult to do things that are actually important to you. Or at least it is to me, because you feel like it's almost too precious to reveal 
to the world. It's almost too close to your heart to um, to unleash it. Um, but some some birds are meant to be free. <laughs> so uh, I was just thinking of like a caged bird, and you like take it out, and it's like this huge, beautiful eagle. Um, so some ideas are meant to be unleashed. Um, some really positive gifts are meant to be shared. And um, let's see what I haven't covered here. I just um, oh, okay. I had one more um, point that I've written down kind of fits in with all this. Um, I was <laughs> it's kind of funny. I wrote down, I don't care how perfectly organized your life is. What I'm intrigued by is what is awe-inspiring to you and what is mystical to you. Um, and another thing I would say is this is kind of the icing on the cake in terms of um, a discussion because you have to be in a good space of well-being to enjoy this type of discussion. It's not about your past trauma or anything that is very emotional. It's, this is the icing on the cake. This is the fun stuff that you treat yourself to if you are interested in mystical discussion. What I like about it is that it gives people the opportunity to do something for free, which is the mystic philosophy dis uh, discussion that's once a week. Or if you want to focus on your own life path, your own spiritual path, or have more of a um, more specific mystic philosophy talk, you can schedule that with me. And hopefully all that will be organized very soon. I have to read all my small business ideas and um, make sure everything's lined up. So thank you for listening. Thank you for participating through watching this video. Uh, I hope I inspired you to come up with your own ideas. Um, I drew two tarot cards from the Joy de Vivre Tarot. There is the Four of Cups, which is like, get out of these boxes that you've created for yourself and be free. And the Two of Swords, which I think is this magnificent take on the Two of Swords, which is usually a pretty dark card. Usually it's kind of like um, more of a card that's a little bit despondent, a little bit morose. But here she has um, changed around the idea of the Two of Swords. And it's like, it's almost like seeing your own vision, seeing something differently. So I really like that. It's really cool. I'm going to enjoy these two tarot cards from the Joy de Vivre tarot. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you'll join me for our Mystic Philosophy Talk uh, once I have all of that set up. And if you'd like to keep, um, keep in yourself informed about how everything's going, you can find me over on Twitter. My Twitter name is Bell Music. Um, I'm also on other forms of social media, such as Instagram and Pinterest. I like all of it. It's all kind of fun, I guess. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.